Let's head back to weather this morning. Deadly tropical storm Idalia does make its way through the Carolinas today. Authorities declaring a state of emergency in Hilton Head, South Carolina. Joining us now for an update there is the mayor of Hilton Head Island himself, Alan Perry. Okay, Mayor Perry, I am looking at this, this live shot of yours. It looks like the most beautiful beach day I've ever seen. Did you dodge well, a bullet or is there something more on the way that, that we haven't seen yet? Well, we, we are more than blessed here on Hilton Head. Um, you know, the storm didn't cause as much damage as we had expected. The winds are still blowing today, you know, 25 to 30 knots. Um, but it's, it's a beautiful day and we're very blessed. And the state of emergency is still in effect, yes, for the island? It, yes, it is for now. We're still doing our assessment of the island to see how everything is, and we hope to have that released pretty soon, and we'll put that notification out to the public when we do. Yeah. Now, sir, how long have you been the mayor, and have you done this this rodeo before, and how does this one compare to, to other storm systems that you've prepped for? Sure, sure. Well, I, I, I've gone through several storms. I've been here for about uh, 50 years, but I've been the mayor okay. since uh, December 6th, so this is my first experience of uh, being the mayor and, and addressing this. So in terms of storms, um, the last one I went through, well, the, the first one I went through was Hurricane David in 1979, and, and it brought in damage, but really Hurricane Matthew in 2016 brought in more damage. And then we had Irma a year later, which actually brought in more flooding than, than Matthew did. So this storm compared to all those three is lesser than that. Um, I, I'm not sure what happened, but boy, we were blessed. Yeah. Um, with, when it, it picked up speed and it moved faster and there were some dry spots within the, within the hurricane, so we did not get the rain that we expected. Uh, we really thought that when it hit a category four that it would come through here as a cat one and cause major flooding and major tree damage. Yeah, well, Hilton Head, I've heard wonderful things. It is on my bucket list. I have yet to make it out there. Um, but what is the mood from residents there ahead of a storm like this? Do most people skip town? Do most people hunker down? Um, so, how do folks respond? Yeah. So typically most people leave. This one, uh, I, I think that a lot of people stay. And, and we encourage everybody to stay off the road, stay off the bridges, you know, stay home, take care of yourself, uh, take care of your loved ones, because you never know if you've got to take care of somebody else. And they really heeded that warning. And so I'm very, very proud of our, our residents and our guests. Yeah, got to check on your people. Uh, well, Mayor Alan Perry, thank you so much for joining us uh, on what's been a busy couple days for you. We do appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.